How's it going, my friends? This is Ionicus, and today I'm doing uh, part one of, I guess this would be the Disney Plus Wave 2. You got Jimmy Woo, finally, and Classic Loki. I uh, finally picked up uh, Jimmy Woo from our good friend at My Nirvana Toys. Go on to Facebook and check them out. I'll try to leave a description down below, but it, the link down in the description, but you know. Now Walking Dead playing in the other room. Somebody just got eaten. Nom noms. Anyway. There we got Jimmy Woo in the front of the box. There's a uh, telling me who's in this wave what's in the box artwork and the same thing with Loki from box artwork all this people all the stuff in there and legal bullshit so let's go ahead and get these opened up and check them out and welcome to Ionicus Toy Reviews so here we have Jimmy Woo out of the box and you can see his accessories he comes with Parts for the build a figure of Kanchu, left arm, and his two parts for his staff. Put them off to the side, and we'll take care of that later. He comes with an alternate hand with the uh, his State Department, FBI ID. Whatever you want to call it. Put that off to the side. That's all the accessories it comes with. It's basically a really good... Just suited body. And you get a head sculpt with the same skin tone. There you go. His head can go around 360... Go up and down. You can take the badge off if you want. Just good. Arms go 360. It feels like you can do a T-pose. I'm not forcing it. Arms can swivel there. Pinless joints in the elbows. Hands rotate 360. Of course you can... Uh, pop that hand out. And put the alternate hand in. Voila. He's got the rocker in the chest. Waist rotation. Which I like that better than the the wobbly mid chest thingy. Legs go up that far. I can't really go back too far. Swivel the upper leg. Can't do a super kick very well because of his jacket, which is fine. Yeah. The pinned knees. Which can bend all the way back like that. No boot cut, of course, because these are just regular shoes and they go back and forth, left, right. All over the place. Uh... Get head sculpt. Oh, it's not a bad figure. Uh, I'm already having problems with him standing upward. There we go. So he's not too bad. Uh, definitely not the figure I thought it was going to. Not so much B, but for me, he was the hardest to get a hold of. He was the last one I needed to complete this wave. And the one or two times I actually found him, he was missing his Build-A-Figure piece. So, it is what it is. Glad I have him. I'm going to pop this hand off, put his other hand back in. Any alternate pictures I'll, of him I'll, and Loki which I'm going to be pulling up next. 
will be on the Instagram channel, Ionic Story Reviews. So let's go ahead and flip this over and get on to Loki. And so here we have what is the classic Loki from Loki. See, he comes with uh, right leg. And the right leg, which we'll get back to that later. He comes with two little magic effects. Magic hands. Oops. And a regular head sculpt compared to the smiling one up there. Because we all know that Loki has a glorious purpose. And I'm actually really liking how this Loki looks. I wish I knew where my regular Loki was. I don't think I even... Either I don't have a regular Loki. Or I never opened and reviewed them. I know I have a female Loki that I've never... That I haven't... Done yet. But that's fine. If I do have a regular version of Loki, I will put description down the link to down below in the description for that one. And any Loki reviews I will put on. But I'm liking the yellows and greens. I can go up and down, rotate 360. You can do the T pose. Feels like he's got butterfly joints in the shoulders. But. Upper arm swivel, pinless joints in the elbows. And the hands can rotate 360. He's got that rocker right there, which is good. Weight swivel. Better super kick than Jimmy Woo over there. God. Upper thigh swivel. Legs can go up and back and forth. They really need to do the drop down hip thing with the Marvel Legends. They do them with the G.I. Joe Classified, but they need to do them with the Marvel Legends. Pinless knee joints. No boot swivel, but fine. But the feet can go every which way. That's really good. Now let's go ahead and pop this head sculpt, which I really like that smiling face on him. And see, there's that double ball joint, neck joint that they've been using a lot of lately. I do feel that the 
back of the head should have the ponytail. And I wish the cape was uh, soft goods. I mean, come on, if McFarlane Toys could do soft goods on their DC Universe figures, Marvel can, or Hasbro can do them on their Marvel ones. And they do them on their Black Series. So, it's very cool. Uh, out of the two, I definitely like Loki the best. With the better accessories and... Well, it's, come on, it's classic Loki. I mean, if you haven't watched Loki, go watch it. This guy was awesome. Actually, most of the extra Lokis were... We really need to get a, a little kid Loki and the Crokey and Boastful Loki release. That would be fucking awesome. But for now, we have him. And uh, like I said before, extra photos, these guys will be on the Instagram channel, Ionicus Toy Reviews. So definitely go there and check them out. And that's about it, really, I guess. I'll just flip this over and give you my final thoughts in just a moment. So, Jimmy Woo and Loki are classic Loki. Aren't bad figures. He's definitely the lacking of the two. He's much better. I give him a seven out of eight. A seven out of ten. It's a, oh yeah, he came with more build a figure pieces. But he came with one alternate hand. And his badge that can come off. Which is actually good because you can use use that badge for like anybody. But, uh, he could have came with a gun, which I do have alternate extra guns, so that won't be a problem. But he's definitely lacking of these two figures. Classic Loki is so much better. It's got more accessories, alternate head sculpt. Uh, his cape does not get in the way of his posability. And honestly, he was so much cooler than Jimmy Woo. Though I'm sure we'll see more of him in other movies and series, hopefully. But he is definitely the standout of the two. 10 out of 10. This figure is awesome. Uh, I'm running late getting these videos out because it took me so long to get a hold of Jimmy Woo. If you haven't picked these figures up already, at least him. I mean, they're, the whole wave looks like it's going to be awesome. And. You still find these in, in retail. I know Walmart still have them. Uh, I know the Target by my work still has one or two classic Lokis. That's that's here in Michigan, so. Who knows what other stores in other states have of these guys left. But even if you just get Loki, he's definitely worth getting, even by himself. So, if you like Jimmy Woo and Loki, let me know in the comments down below. Like, share, subscribe, whack that bell for notifications, and just remember to keep hitting those toy aisles. I'll see you guys next time. Later.